The next technique I'm going to teach is going to be a overhand right. So you're in your fighting stance, hands are up. First, before we do the overhand right, we need to slip to the side, okay? So all we're going to do is make sure your feet are nice and wide. To slip, you're going to transfer your head over to your left side. So you can dip your left shoulder down, left, left shoulder goes towards your left knee, and you'll put your chin over your knee, so you're balanced. If it goes any far over, further over your knee, then you're going to be slightly off balance, okay? So you slip just in line with the knee and back up. Now, from here, as we slip to the side, as I start to slip, I'm going to take my right hand out to the side. Now, to throw the overhand, I need to lean slightly forward. My hand comes up, it stays bent at a 90 degree angle. As my shoulder comes down, my hand comes over at an angle, it's arcing over, okay? So I need my knuckles to be facing the floor. I need my elbow facing the ceiling. Now, this is usually used as a counter to someone throwing a straight jab. If I step and throw a hook, sometimes it gets caught on the arm. So I'm gonna slip, I'm gonna bring over at an angle. So their jab comes from here, comes to the side of my head, and I'm coming over and I'm catching the flush on the jaw, okay? So I slip, I transfer the weight of my chin over to my left side. As I do, I take my, left, my right hand out to the side. I slip, I bring up towards the ceiling, still bent at a 90 degree angle, and I bring it over and down, over the top of their arm. Knuckles facing the floor. I don't want it this way. If the angle's too great, I'm gonna hit with the fingers. Angle's 90 degrees, and I'm punching down. So again, I slip to the side, bring over and straight down. Slip to the side, over and straight down. from the side again. Again, so as the jab comes towards me here, I slip my head to the side, so the jab comes over, comes slightly past me. As it does, my hand comes up towards the ceiling, my elbow's facing the ceiling as my knuckles are coming down towards the floor. So I slip to the side, bring it over. I slip to the side, bring it over. Now again, with this point, you don't want to put too much into it, you don't want to be tense, you need to be nice and relaxed. You slip, and it's straight over and down. Again, my opponent's throwing a jab, it's here, the jab's coming straight towards me. If I just throw it from here, I'm still gonna get caught with this jab. So as it comes, I slip to the side, hand comes over and down. Now, if your partner's a little bit further away and they're stepping in to close the ground, sometimes this will work, but sometimes if they're a little bit taller than you and they throw the jab, you will be too far away to reach them. So sometimes you're gonna to have to step out to the side. So it's a diagonal step to your left side. As you do a diagonal step, here, then it comes over and down. Must come over in an arcing fashion. Must come over an angle, okay? Someone's punching, I move out of the way, I bring it over. Overhand right. So you hop, keep your left foot back behind. So when you hop on your right leg, you land on the same leg. Your leg that's in front hops and it goes back behind. So you start on your right,